Hey everybody, I am Surbhi and you are watching Key Differences. In this video, we will discuss the concept of product life cycle and its stages. So friends, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. We all are aware of the fact that no product can serve and satisfy the needs and wants of the consumers for an indefinite period of time. Hence, its sales as well as profit vary over a period of time. In simple words, product life cycle is the lifespan of the product in relation to its demand. Product life cycle refers to the time horizon when the product is launched in the market until it is removed from the shelves. When a product takes entry into the market, it has a life cycle that manifests its journey from being new to old and obsolete. That is from product development to withdrawal or eventual demise. Management and marketing experts use it as a determinant to decide the right time to increase advertising, reduce price, redesign packaging and make changes in the existing strategies. It describes the stages through which most of the product passes from its introduction to its ultimate removal from the market. There are four stages in a product life cycle that is introduction, growth, maturity and decline. These are the stages that a product can possibly experience. The life of the product depends upon the capacity of the product to meet consumers expectation. Hence it stays in the market as long as it satisfies its users. The product life cycle can be long for some products and short for some other products. That is, some product may fail instantly, while some products survive for a long term in the market. So, not all the products passes through all the stages as they fail at initial stages itself. Further, there are four aspects on the basis of which product life cycle is characterized. These are sales volume, amount of profit, level of promotional effort and expenses, and degree of competition. Talking about the introduction stage, this is also known as takeoff stage. At this stage, new product is ready for sale for the first time in the market. Or we could say the product is introduced to the market, so the consumers are unaware of the product. So there is slow response from the consumers and the company fetches low sales and negligible profit. To overcome this, heavy expenses in advertising in the introduction of product is done by the company. And at this stage, the customers who buy the company's product are innovator customers who always like to try something new. Further, there is high acquisition cost, that is, the total expenses which the company incurs on purchasing assets and acquiring customers is high. Also, there is minimal competition or absence of direct competition. And because the company is not yielding profit, the company suffers financial losses. At this stage, there are four strategies which are generally implemented by the companies. These are rapid skimming strategy, wherein the product price is high and the promotion is also high. Next, the companies also go for slow skimming strategy, wherein there is high price and low promotion. The company may also opt for rapid penetration strategy, wherein the price of the product is low but the promotion is heavy. Lastly, the companies can also go for slow penetration strategy, wherein the product price and promotion both are low. Moving on to growth stage. At this stage, Due to increased awareness, the product gets positive response from the market and so the product encounters repeated purchases. It is a period of rapid market acceptance and so the product undergoes major improvements that is new features are added to the product as a result of which number of customers increases and there is rapid climb in sales. Consequently, the profit follows the sales and there is greater competition as new companies take entry to the market. Further, the company also develops an effective distribution network and makes entry to new markets. The different strategies which are implemented by the companies at this stage include addition of new features, changing style, selecting new channel of distribution, reduction in price and increasing promotion. Moving on to maturity stage. At this stage, the competition intensifies. That is, there is cutthroat competition in the market between the firms and the market gets saturated. Further, there is decrease in the prices of the product and this happens due to competition and innovations in technology. The product encounters peak sales or the sales continue to rise but at a decreasing rate. So there is a slowdown in the sales growth and as a result of which profit is stabilized or starts to decline. Further, there is low customer acquisition cost that is the company do not have to spend much for acquiring customers and the company attempts to maintain the market share. Moreover, the maturity stage is divided into three phases. That is growth maturity, stable maturity and decline maturity. Growth maturity is when there is decline in sales growth rate. Stable maturity is when there is a stable sales and decline maturity is when the sales starts to fall. At this stage, the strategies used by the company include improvement in the quality of products, broadening the product line, 
increasing the usage of the product among the customers by adding new features and utilities, forming new buyers and devising effective promotional and advertising programs. Coming to decline stage. At this stage, the product begins to lose its customer appeal and sales drift downward. Gradually, the product is displaced due to entry of some new products in the market or change in the buying behavior of the customer. So there is sharp fall in sales and from the company's end, there is reduction in the promotional expenditure in an attempt to reduce the amount of losses. Also, profit decreases or even there is loss. And this happens because the customer switch to other products. The product gets obsolete because of entry of new products in the market and so the new products begin their own life cycles and replace the old ones. Companies prefer to shift its resources to new product. Further, there is withdrawal of maximum number of sellers from the market and as a result of this, competition declines. At this stage, there are a number of strategies which the companies implement. These include improvement in the packaging and design of the product to make it more attractive, introduction of economy packs for reviving the market, effective production and marketing programs, cost control and abandoning the product. So friends, this brings me to the end of this lesson. I hope the concept has been clear now. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and share it with other people. Also, if you are new to this channel and want to get more such useful videos, consider subscribing the channel and also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you are notified every time whenever a new video is uploaded on this channel. And if you have any queries or feedback for me, feel free to leave in the comment section below. Until next time, this is me Surbi signing off.